This is the iPhone 15 Pro in blue titanium, and this is the iPhone 14 Pro in deep purple. These are very similar phones, and phones are a category of tech that's very matured, so the updates that we're seeing from year to year are pretty incremental. And often the difference between phone to phone are the cameras. And these have very, 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 very similar specs. When you look at the spec sheet, the cameras here are very, very similar. So let's see if you can tell the difference. Hi everybody, Fox Nomad here, and today I want to help you travel smarter by showing you what, if any, differences there are between the iPhone 15 Pro and the iPhone 14 Pro camera when it comes to what you can actually see. So when you're looking at the photos and the videos out of these cameras, out of these phones, what are the differences? Maybe you have an iPhone 14 Pro and you're wondering, should I upgrade to the 15 Pro? Or maybe you've got an older phone since both of the 14 Pro and the 15 Pro are still on sale. Maybe you've got an older phone, you're wondering which one you should upgrade to. Maybe you can save some money by getting a 14 Pro, or maybe you just wanna jump right into the 15 Pro. Maybe the cameras are really gonna make the difference for you. The photos are gonna make the difference for you. Before we get into those, there are a couple of key other differences that you should know about. The first is the change from a lightning cable connector to a USB-C connector. Thanks EU for that solid change, which gives the iPhone 15 Pro some added functionality, like the ability to use external hard drives and charge other phones with USB-C. But keep in mind that the one that comes in the box, the cable that comes in the box, doesn't support the fastest charging and data transfer speeds. For that, you'll have to buy a separate cable, either from Apple or save yourself some money and get an off-brand one. There's also the action button, which in my experience hasn't really been something I've put to use. I just still use it as a mute button mostly. And then there's the weight. The other major difference I'm most excited about is the weight. So the iPhone 15 Pro is about 20 grams lighter than the 14 Pro. And I'm always trying to reduce the weight of the things that I carry when I travel, which is pretty much all the time. So I'm always optimizing weight, trying to cut down what I'm carrying, trying to get lighter and smaller things I can do kind of everything that the bigger versions could do as the iterations go by. And the 20 grams here is noticeably lighter than the 15, sorry, than the 14 Pro. It is noticeably lighter, but it's not a huge, huge difference. It's not as big of a difference as I was expecting. So if you're thinking the weight, if you've got a 14 Pro and you're thinking the weight of the 15 Pro is gonna be a major, this thing is gonna be light as a feather and this thing is gonna feel like a brick, it really isn't that much of a difference. There are some other changes between these two phones, but USB-C, the action button, and the weight, the titanium build, are the main differences. With the cameras though, there is a lot, a lot of the same on the spec sheet. We've got the same pro system on both cameras. A 48 megapixel main camera, the 15 Pro can shoot pictures in 24 megapixels though, a 12 megapixel ultra wide, and a 12 megapixel telephoto. The apertures are the same and a lot else of the same. All right, so now it's time to take these phones out. Let's put some of the pictures to the test and let's see if you can tell which one came from the iPhone 15 Pro and which one came from the 14 Pro. All right, so first let's start with the selfie camera. So we're gonna start with video. I am going to use the audio from this camera first. So the audio from this camera first, and now we're switching over to the audio of this one just to give you an idea of what it sounds like in this echoey room. I'm not editing the audio at all. So you can get an idea what the microphones are like, the difference between the microphones. And in terms of the image quality, I feel like this one, the one I'm looking at now, overexposes a little bit. So the highlights are a little bit bigger and it, it's a little bit more, I'll move my head here. You can see, I feel like the yellows are a little bit more washed out. So a little bit brighter in the yellows, although very, 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 very similar. So which one do you think is which? Do you think this is the iPhone 14 Pro or this is the iPhone 14 Pro? Let me know. All right, there you go. There's the answer. Let me know what you thought. Let me know if you got it right, which one you think is better or if you think they're kind of still the same. All right, so now let's take some selfies. We're just gonna take with the front facing camera, one here, another one there. And then with this one, and let's see, what do you think of the difference? Which one is which? Again, for me, I'm noticing one of these is a little bit slightly more exposed. So the highlights are a little bit brighter than the other one, but that could just be my eyes, could just be the screens. Let me know what you think. I'm very curious which one you thought was this one and which one you thought was the 14. All right, so here's an idea of what the video from the back cameras look like. This is 
with natural light here. I'm outside, it's noisy, it's windy, but just to give you an idea of what the video looks like out of this camera, which by the way is the iPhone 15 Pro. Now just comparing that to the iPhone 14 Pro, which is the video you're seeing out of here and the audio that you're getting as well. Again, same conditions literally taken just a moment after and you can get an idea of what the video looks like from the iPhone 14 Pro. I haven't made any adjustments, no manual changes, anything like that. This is the footage straight out of the camera on auto. All right, so let me load up the photos from the iPhone 14 and the iPhone 15 Pro. Let's see, let's see what the differences are. All right, so let's go with the first selfie picture that I took for both cameras. Looking at those here, and which do you think is which? Now, again, to my eye, I feel like the one on the right is a little bit yellow. So I feel like the white balance is a little bit more yellow. And if we zoom in, there's definitely, I think this gives it away. I think when you start zooming in, you can really see which is which. And the iPhone 15 Pro is on the right and the iPhone 14 Pro is on the left. Again, the 15 Pro to my eyes looks a little bit more yellow, but it's definitely sharper. So you can zoom in more and uh, really get some more detail. All right, let's go with the back camera. Let's see the difference between these two. Which do you think is which? And again, now that my eye has sort of seen these two cameras in action and seen the photos out of them. I feel like I can tell the difference when they're side by side. I don't know if I could tell them they weren't side by side. So let me know what you think. And you're right, it is the iPhone 15 Pro is on the left. And the way the give, the tell for me was that it is a lot sharper along this edge of the chair here. You could really see the sharpness in these bands that go around the chair. So to me, that's what gave it away. All right, we'll do a couple more. We'll do the ultra wide here, ultra wide there. Again, this one, I don't see as much difference. There's not a whole lot going on, except for if you look at the corner, if you look at this upper corner, it's a little bit more blown out on the other one, whereas this one has more detail on the iPhone 15 Pro, which is on the right, yes. And it has more detail and it's not as blown out. You can kind of see in the 14 Pro where that's blown out. Again, giving you a little bit better dynamic range and a little bit more detail in the photos. All right, let's do let's do a couple more. Let's do a picture with the back camera. Now, to me, between these two pictures, I feel like the one on the left has more dynamic range. It's not as blown out. The shadows are better. The skin tones, I feel like, are better. And there is also a little bit more detail. If you look at the bricks in the back, again, if you zoom in on this one, you can see the bricks are just a little bit sharper here, not as sort of blurred out as it is on the one on the right, which is the 14 Pro. So the 14 Pro is on the right. I think this camera does a lot better when it comes to taking pictures of faces and people. I think it gives much more natural skin tones and much more dynamic range and much less of this sort of sort of blown out lighting that you can see on the 14. Again, both of these photos are really good pictures, not just because I'm in there, but they're just good pictures. They're good cameras. And I think side by side, you can see the incremental updates and the improvements on the 15 Pro, but I don't think the 14 Pro is bad at all. It's just side by side, you can notice those little changes. All right, we'll just do a couple more. We'll go all the way zoomed in. This is the 3X telephoto. And again, I think if you're looking closely, you'll start to see the differences now. I can definitely see the differences, again, with the dynamic range. The iPhone 15 Pro here is giving you more dynamic range. So you see that when you go up into this building, the, the, the whites are a little bit more white here. You can't quite see, especially when you zoom in, you can't quite see as well the, the sort of the lines between the bricks, whereas on the 14 Pro, if you zoom in, those are a little bit more washed out. Again, these are pixel peeping. These are very, very small, small details, but there are some differences. All right, now these two, again, I feel like one of these cameras is a little bit more yellow. So it, it is a little bit of a softer tone, a little bit more of a yellow tone across. And because of that, the colors here are a little bit less vibrant to me than they are on this one, which is a little bit bluer, which is the iPhone 14 Pro. You get better reds, I feel like. I like the color 
here on the 14 Pro more than here on the 15 Pro. Again, it's just a little bit of the tone. These are good photos. There's nothing wrong with either photo, just the small differences between the two. Now let's go with picture that is actually yellow. So this is under a yellow light. And here I feel like the blueness of the iPhone 14 Pro actually enhances the picture. It's a little bit more contrasty. There's a little bit better lighting. Again, the things in the background, the dynamic range isn't as good. So if you look at the bricks on the iPhone 15 Pro, they're sharper, they're clear, they're more colorful. Whereas on the 14 Pro, they're a little bit more sort of washed out, not as quite as crisp as it is on the 15 Pro. But I do like here, I do like the coloring more on the 14 Pro. And finally, we'll go with the macro. And to my eye, these are very, very similar. Again, this is where the pixel peeping comes in. It is the sharpness. You just look, zoom in here and you just see the lettering here on this ping pong ball is a lot, not a lot, but it is definitely sharper. You can see here it's a little bit less clear. Whereas here, when we really zoom in, you're really seeing just the clarity here on those extra megapixels. Overall, I think when it comes to the video, it's pretty similar. We're, we're seeing a lot of the same on both of these cameras, really a lot of the same dynamic range. That isn't much different when it comes to video. Uh, I can't really tell between these two, although I'd say this car is maybe a little bit more red here on the one on the left, which is the iPhone 15 Pro in case you were wondering. And again, Amazing video, very, very good, especially considering this is coming out of a phone. All right, so when it comes to the video from the back camera, I feel like when we're just shooting non-human subjects, it's very, 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 very similar. I think the same is true when we have human subjects, although there is a little slightly better dynamic range, is a little bit better when it comes to the shadows. It's not the tiniest bit slightly less overblown when it comes to the iPhone 15 Pro, but I think Photos, there's much more of a noticeable difference, whereas in the video, it's very, very similar. And honestly, between these two, I can see slight, slight, slight differences, but I couldn't tell you which one is better than the other one necessarily. I think these are very, very similar footage coming out of both of these phones. So what did you think of the pictures between the 14 Pro and the 15 Pro? You think it's anything worth upgrading over? Could you see the differences? I'm really curious, how many of these did you get right? To me, if it's coming down to a decision between just the cameras and nothing else between these two phones, I think unless you are pixel peeping and you are really, really zooming in and you wanna crop the pictures that you're taking, the differences here are very, very small. So if you've got an iPhone 14 Pro and you're thinking about jumping to the iPhone 15 Pro for the cameras, then you probably won't see much of a difference. And that's just kind of a judgment call. If you want to spend the money on a new phone, there you go. But if you're coming from 11, 12, especially one of the non-pro ones, and you're jumping up to the 15 Pro, you will definitely see a big difference from the pictures of the 11 to the 15 Pro or the 11 Pro to the 15 Pro. Again, these are incremental updates that add up over time. Incremental being the keyword here. So if you've got the 14 Pro, is the upgrade worth it to the 15 Pro? I think unless you are in that small segment of people that really wants the latest tech or is going to be zooming in and cropping photos or you really want USB-C or this action button is actually a thing that you are really excited about, or maybe the 20 grams of lighter weight is something that is extremely important to you. Unless you are in that sliver, or small category of people, I don't think it's worth the upgrade from the 14 Pro to the 15 Pro. I think a lot of you who are upgrading from the 14 Pro to the 15 Pro are gonna probably end up returning the 15 Pro unless you really wanna film videos and log, for example, and have an external hard drive through USB-C, or maybe you're super excited about the action button. But I think most of you are gonna end up returning this phone and keeping this 14 Pro until a year or two, until those incremental updates add up for you. Thanks very much for watching. I hope this video has been fun for you. Guessing the photos between these two phones. Let me know how many you got right down in the comments below. And while you're down there, hit the like and subscribe buttons. I'll have new videos for you every week. And I will see you in the next video.